So pacemakers have been around for the last uh, 60 to 70 years and they've become increasingly sophisticated as time has moved along. The basic function of a pacemaker is essentially to accelerate a slow heart rate. So if the heart rate is too slow and the patient experiences symptoms from the slow heart rate, and those symptoms are classically a combination of tiredness, lethargy, dizziness, often blackouts, then the pacemaker is, is able to accelerate the slow heart rate and, and increase the speed. The way the pacemaker works is that uh, essentially you have a, a, a battery source, which is the pulse generator, which is the bit which is implanted under the skin in the fat pocket just below the skin. And this then sends um, electrical current through uh, a lead which is insulated and which has been uh, attached uh, in this particular patient's case actually via an active fixation mechanism where we've screwed the lead tips into the heart muscle and this current is then relayed uh, or transferred to the heart muscle making it actually beat. Uh, this is done via uh, a number of uh, electrolyte uh, changes uh, within the milieu surrounding uh, the lead tip as well as the electrical current which is, which is sent through uh, and you have uh, a number of different kinds of uh, battery sources uh, through which uh, voltages, uh, um, potential differences are created within the battery itself, this generating an electrical current which is then uh, transferred to the patient's cardiac, uh, cardiac chambers or in this case the heart muscle. But pacemakers are also uh, very useful devices in managing a host of rhythm disturbances. And so nowadays pacemakers are able to actually slow down rates which are very fast and in particular in life-threatening fast uh, life threatening fast heart rates, they are able to, to shock the heart uh, in, back into a normal rhythm. And that's called a defibrillating function. So there's an anti-tachy pacing function, uh, an anti-fast rhythm pacing function, a defibrillation function where the heart is effectively shocked back into a normal rhythm, and then the basic function which is essentially to accelerate a slow heart rate.